everyone, my name is Gleason, and welcome back to Mechanical Minecraft. It's, this is episode 2, and I have done a lot of work. For starters... Oh my goodness, I fell out! Ah! No. Um, for starters, I've done a lot of work since last episode. As you can see, we're pretty high up here. Um, actually, I'll first show you where I've been. Um, I'll do that by going in and turning on all these waypoints. To sort of explain, as you can see, I had a bit of trouble, but I'll talk about that later. So, I've done a lot of work. Actually, no, I'll talk about where I am right now first. Okay, so I have decided what I'm going to do and where I'm going to set up my new base. First thing I did was find a jungle, and then I put it up to a height that I wanted, because I want to make a cool floating air base, with cool bits coming off and stuff like that. And so, um, you can probably see a little bit in the mini-map, but I've started work on it, um, laying out kind of what I want. I'm pretty proud of what I've got, considering I'm not a builder. Um, I decided to go with a circular theme here. Um, I took a lot of work to get these stone bricks, because I don't, I don't actually have any cobble on me, because I haven't got any quarries or anything running. Um, but anyway... So I decided to go with a circular theme. I was playing with what I wanted to do because I want, kind of wanted to make it curve, like a like a big M um, and M, but less less pointy. Um, we can put stuff in the edges. Um, this is planning to be my storage room, um, just in the center here, and then I would have um, various rooms branching off from that. So that'd be I've planned a few of them: Thorncraft three room, tree farm there. And general machines farm. Each branch is going to be a different color of the wool spectrum, so it should look multicolored and kind of cool at the end. I'm not sure how I'm going to lay out these rooms because I was thinking each room is going to be different and need different sizes, and circular is a bit tricky because it just is. <laughs> um, because I don't know how much I will, how big I'll want it, how much, how big to make it initially, stuff like that. So I'm just going to go with a hallway for now type style, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's explain my journey since we left off. Okay, so we can see the ravine base is, oh wait, is exactly 500 meters that way. Oh, 499.99, 500. Okay, close enough. 500 meters that way is the ravine base. So exactly because I'm under blocks in the air, but um, that's where we left off last time. Um, that's the spawn area, 800 meters that way, so I kind of just traveled this direction for a while until I found a jungle. Um, death point there, that was... okay, I'll explain that later. I found an oil spawn there, there's also an oil spawn down there, I think. I don't remember making that waypoint, actually. Oh well. There's one down here as well, which is nice and handy and close to my base. Um, as you can see, there's a ravine below us, which I cleared up the resources and everything, of course, but I've done a lot of caving and resource gathering between this episode, last episode and this, and um, as you can see, I may have had a bit of trouble. Most of that's, I'll explain that in a minute, but I died a lot. There were lots of cave spiders, and it was just a terrible experience altogether. I managed to get out a lot, well, not a lot, but I managed to get out with everything that I started with, which is positive. Um, and as you can see here, right below this ladder, yeah, I've, um, I may have had a few mishaps in my time already. Um, okay, so these, for those who don't know, are iron chests. They are, they are part of the, I think it's called the iron chest mod, um, but basically they provide storage upgrades, so... Instead of using wood for a chest, you use iron, surround a chest with some iron, and you get an iron chest. Iron chests have the same capacity as a double chest, but in a single block, and you can place them next to each other, which is my favourite thing. So I really love iron chests. Um, it's just my general blocks, this is my miscellaneous organics and stuff like that tools chest. And this is the resource gathering that I've done. This is my less valuable stuff. Bunch of the coal, which is like Corium. I ended up just scrapping the idea of trying to collect this stuff because I'm not sure I'm going to use it for a while. So when I, I'm sure all my quarry or quarries and stuff will mine up a whole bunch of them, so that shouldn't be too bad. Um, lots of shards, lots of coal, a bit of redstone, a bit of nickelite, and all these random ores. Tungsten. That's from Red Power, and it doesn't have a use yet. I don't think I talked about it. Oh no, maybe it does. I'm not sure if the new machines use that. I'm not sure. Okay. 
more crude oil, stuff like that. And this is my valuables chest. I found six diamonds the whole time. <laughs> yes, I was very disappointed. Very diamond starved. Um, a fair, fair amount of iron. I'm very happy about that. That should last me a while. Not a great amount of gold. A lot of my caving was actually in the higher levels of caves. Um, nice amount of tin, nice amount of copper. Not much silver, and a nice amount of lead, and heaps of aluminum. Actually, not much lead. Yeah, Gross. And lots of aluminum. Not aluminium. Oh, is that, is that what we call... Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to call it aluminum. Um, a few uranium. These, these are found in the chests I think you guys have already seen. And nice amount of gems. Lots of rubies, which I've been using for tools. Appetite, emeralds. Found them in the chest as well. I think you guys saw that. But that's basically... I think that's pretty much updated you guys since last episode. Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to go ahead and turn off all these waypoints now because they're annoying. Yes, lots of death. <laughs> lots and lots of death. I do want to leave them there just for general reference though. <coughs> okay, so you may notice that I have not smelted majority of these ores. That is because... I want to get started in doubling my ore count. So, most people, when they start up a new series with mods and stuff, like new people, even old people do it as well, they always, almost always, start with IC2. Um, I did that in my last season, and I want to try something a little bit different this episode, for two reasons. Um, yeah, I want to try something different, and the fact that I have had my Greg Tech installed, so something as simple as a macerator, sort of being an early game item, it becomes an, quite a hard item to get with three diamonds. Oops. So yes, that is the deal with that. Um, but so instead of industrial craft, I want to get started with thermal expansion. This is... <laughs> I just love thermal expansion so much. One of my favorites in the pack, I think. And by the way, I'm using the Mindcrack pack, which you can find in the FTB launcher for those that missed it last episode. I'm not using the Dive 20 pack, because it mainly because it doesn't have Greg Tech. Um, I'm hoping the um, Mindcrack pack will still get the Portal Gun, and the Mistcraft, and the Inventory Treats mods. Um, those are the main ones that it's missing in my books. Um, but I'm assuming that's just because they haven't updated yet, and they didn't think to put it on the list. But that's okay. But I am going to make... Um, cool stuff. Uh, I do really do miss inventory tweaks though, I mean, that stuff was so handy. Yeah, I went and gathered a bunch of leaves as well, with my shears, just to help me lay out this area. This was all originally leaves, or not this area, but like, strands and like the outline, stuff like that. <coughs> okay, let's start on these machines. This should be all the things that I need to make them. And let's get started. So the first thing I need, actually no, that's the wrong spot already, is a machine frame. Machine frame is like the base, it's like a machine block pretty much for thermal expansion. Simple way of putting it. Next I need one of these guys, and it is called a redstone reception coil. Um, that's also another item that's used in a lot of the storm cro thermal expansion machines. <laughs> Idiot. Um, I think that might be it. The copper and sand, machine frame, you and a bucket. Induction smelter. This guy is pretty, pretty awesome. Although, I've just remembered something about him and I'm debating whether I want to use him too much. Basically, he will smelt your ores at a cost, and that cost is one sand per ore. It uses up. So what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get my wool. I don't know why I left it behind in any case. Actually, I can sleep. Yeah, and I, yes, and I died a few times when I hadn't set my spawn up here yet, and I had started the spawn, had to run all the way back with no items and try and mine into the caves to get my stuff back, and it, it was a mess, to be honest. Um. Let me think a little bit about how I want to lay this out. I've got one cool thing about um, that's interesting. Um, having red power is I can turn this wool into micro blocks, which is quite epic. I can make wool stairs and stuff like that. 
Um, that's interesting. But I just want to work out how I want to lay this. Maybe. Okay, I'm going to get. Actually, I think you can make wall stairs. I saw. I have seen it in Tekkit before. So I presume it's still there. Okay, it's not like that. I swear. Ah, oh, yeah. the stairs would have been a mix of blocks. Mix of micro blocks. So he would have had. stuff been using this. Okay, so I'm going to make a ruby handsaw, I think we'll be fine. I need some more wood. Actually, oh no, yeah, I need some more wood. Let's make a whole bunch of sticks. You there, you there. You there? Oh, dang it. I thought I knew it. Sticks to iron. I'm gonna go have to go smelt some more iron as well. Okay, so grab a, oh no, I've got some more iron, so it's all good. So let me grab my handsaw. This oh, don't tell me oh, phew. Oh, for a second I thought ruby gem gem items wouldn't be able to cut wool. But I thought that's a bit silly. They should be able to. Um, I'm going to make. Don't right click because that would make a million of them. Several slabs. And then I want slab strips, I think. I'm going to get some and see how it goes. Okay, so if I go like that, and like that. Ha <laughs> ha, it's a stair. Nice. Awesome. I like that. Although they're not as versatile. I mean, they are, but it's a bit harder to make them. Um, and it's regular stairs, so I'm going to get my leaves out. My inventory is already getting full. Um, I'm going to put him there, him there. Make put two next to each other. And maybe I'll have my machines back a block. Whoops, dang it. Yes. So I'm going to put my leaves here and chuck down my... No, I won't put it in the first one, that's silly. I won't put it in the third one either. I'll go there. It's a good spot. I love the whole overlay system for these. It's just quite ingenious. I'm going to make a few more slabs, actually. There we go. There looks good. Right there, and I'll be running power behind, of course. Okay, so basically you put sand here, ores here, actually I don't think it actually matters which is which, but sort of in that order, and it produces the ores, and you get slag as a byproduct, which I'll talk about at a later time. But this requires build craft power, so I've got the ingredients here for that. First thing I want to make, I'm, I'm going to make a, oh no, they're called something different, um, a sterling engine, I think that's what they're called now. I don't know why it changed. Something to do with railcraft or forestry or something. Anyway, so I'm going to make me a... It's typically called a steam engine. I'm going to make me a sterling engine, which is like a stone version of the engines. You see, all this cobble of mined up. I'll show you that later, too. Um, glass and coal stone. Thank you. And I'll also get... Some of my coal. <coughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to stick this guy straight on the back. It's because it's convenient for now. I'm going to put eight in there for now, and let's make myself a lever. And I don't think a grass block will work, will it? Dirt block there. Remember, this is all fairly temporary. And he should start building up power. There we go. There's the MJ coming in. Nice. Throwing some energy. Oh, and I love the whole configuration thing. I won't talk about that now again. Alrighty. And I'm going to do most of my building off camera as well. So you guys don't have to worry about that. It'll still be like the old series. Nice and um, technically oriented. Because that's what I'm all about. Although if you guys want to give input. Feel free. If it's too hard, though, I might discredit your opinion. <laughs> um, 
just because it would be too hard, but we'll see. Um, so what am I doing now? I've got the induction furnace. And now I'm thinking, now I just remembered that he needs sand, but I'm going to grab, grab what sand I have and grab 15 of my, 15 of that and 15 iron. I'm going to smelt these guys up in the furnace. I want to see how much energy that stores for us and how much it smelts. So check them in there, it'll start smelting. One iron ore went in, the iron ore is currently being processed. That's another thing about thermal expansion that takes the ore, puts it inside itself, and spits it out. Not like the furnace where it stays there until it spit, spits it out. Okay, so, and we got two iron from that. Nice, doubled. Okay, that's different. Yeah, I don't want the recipe, dang it. Rich slag, interesting. Uh huh. Huh. So rich slag plus two pulverized copper equals three copper. So it increases your ore count more. It's not it's not triple. It's just more. <laughs> That's very strange. The more you know. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> surprised by that. All right. So I'm going to think about making a pulverizer next because that's like the thermal expense thermal expansion equivalent of a macerator a machine frame, same thing I need copper and flint oh no 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 crap I actually threw my flint away because it was taking up room in this chest and I needed more room dang it also I need to make myself a new shovel while I'm, while I'm here Make a ruby one, just because I have lots of rubies. What have I got more rubies than anything else? I don't know if it's freights or what. All right. Dang it, that's annoying. I've got copper. Wait, do I have? I must have some gravel. Or did I throw that away too? No, it would be in here. Oh, good, I have got gravel. Oh, that's all right then. That's not so bad. I can easily do that here. Shouldn't take too long to get two pieces of flint. There's one already. Especially with an, uh, a, a gemmed, gemmed shovel. Man, I'm tripping over my words. It's actually still Christmas Day here. It's 10 to, 10 to 12, so 10 more minutes of Christmas. Had a good day with family and relatives and stuff like that. I hope you guys had a great day as well. Um, yes, yeah, so and now I've got two flint and I needed two copper. Dang it. I'll just melt another one manually. And we'll go swap out the iron for the gold. It's the, it looks like this guy is keeping up quite well. It looks like it's, it would have been much more efficient. See, this will get me 30 iron. Um, yeah, I've got good enough gold to last me. I'll wait for that iron to fully fin finish itself. Let's see, we've got the copper. Different types of copper, but that's alright, it'll all be gone in a minute. Okay, so we've got copper, we need iron and gold. Same way we did it before. And I need to grab some redstone as well. I'll just grab two pieces that I need for now. Bah! Who knew? Probably Greg Tech. Um, copper and a piston. I haven't got inventory room for a piston. I need that stuff for now. I made too many signs accidentally. Oh dang it, I knew I should have just grabbed the whole little bit of redstone. Although I probably won't need it anymore. Please have enough couple fuel. <laughs> that would have sucked. Nope, not dirt. I need some wood. Perfect. Piston, copper. It's a good thing about the uh, whole um, forge or dictionary setup that they've got going. Um, what was the other ingredient? Can I remember it? Flint. That's right. All that work for that flint, and I can't remember what, it, what I need. I'm also going to make some pipes from Buildcraft. These pipes. Um, I used to make items flow around. You can pump items out of chests and make them go various places, but I'm going to turn these pipes 
into conductive pipes. Conductive pipes can take the energy that comes out of engines. The recipe changed? Oh, you can't make stone, I mean cobblestone ones. Dang it. <laughs> I need one more piece of cobblestone. Um, I'll just put my mod items in there for now. But yes, I'm going to turn these into conductive pipes, which means that the energy that comes out of a steam engine... Oops, I need to light this up. Torches are temporary. I'm going to try and get rid of them in the end. Um, oops, I'll swap the gold out while I'm here. The energy that comes out of this guy can be sent into pipes and pushed around. Pretty much. Yes, but the main reason was I didn't want to smelt all these ores while I was... I didn't want to, because that would be biggest waste ever. Okay, so stone transport pipes. You need stone and not cobblestone ones for conductive pipes. Like so. Oops. And I wanted two of them, didn't I? And the last thing I wanted to make... Actually, I'll do this one more time. Sorry, because that would be annoying to watch, I know. And get rid of this rain. Sleep tight. And I want to make a powered furnace while I'm here. I think it's too hard. Same thing, same thing. Bricks, dang it, I don't have clay. Alright, I'll hang off on that for now. Um, I'm going to put this guy right here. Should I put my micro blocks away, dummy. I'll, put, I'll just put down all the ones I've got in my inventory right now. Yes, Red Power is a very good mod, if you didn't know that already. And yes, I'm at high danger. Dang it, what are you doing? High danger of falling off at any moment. So be scared. <laughs> Aren't you all chewing your nails? <clears throat> ah, perfect! I knew that! Oh, right, I was like, <laughs> I have no recollection of this. And that guy's still going. I'm going to turn the right side configuration off. Um, this allows you to see the color changes when I ch do that. Um, so the purple side, if I set it to the right side, whatever's in the purple... No, actually, I won't use that. And whatever's in the red side will get outputted that direction straight. So you don't need pipes to get it there. So the um, output of this went straight into the input of this because that's the blue and the blue goes there. So that's what happened there. Anyway, I'm going to collect that. I'm going to waste a bit of energy here, but oh well. Put my pipes down. Put my third one out just for good measure. I'm going to chuck some of these down for scaffolding. Now I can get my engine down. And my coal. I don't like to put too much coal in there to start off with because otherwise you'll be wasting it. Maybe, maybe not. And my lever. Hey buddy. Come to me. So right now see a little faint blue bar that is energy and that's going into these machines here and if we look in here we can see energy has begun building up but it will split it between the two now so it's not as efficient as it was before but I'm not worried about that all right so that is successful now I can get my pulverizer running and the pulverizer works just like the macerator but if you didn't know what the macerator works like I'll show you now so I'll put my a stack of iron and this pulverizer will pulverize one piece of ore hopefully this has enough to complete itself mm, you were not running okay there we, oh it didn't have enough oh so it only starts doing it when it has enough energy to run interesting turn that guy off um, so hopefully we'll be able to see this finish up here it's not using it's going really slow because it's not using much power because it doesn't have much power So see this finish, and this creates two pulverized iron. And now if I put this two pulverized iron into a furnace, can you guess what might happen? It'll turn in one pulverized iron will turn into one iron ingot, which doubles your ores. Much like the um, 
this guy, I can't remember what it's called, this guy but without the sand usage. <coughs> so that should be all good. Ah, <coughs> oh, sorry, my throat's going all funny. <sighs> Lots of talking today, obviously. Um, so let us see, what do we want to do next? I'm thinking I may go and... Oh no, okay. I am low on basic things like cobble. I mean, come on, I'm low on cobble. So what I want to do next is get some cobblestone smelting. I don't think I have enough, dang it. The things I do for you guys, but I'm going to grab three of these. Can you guess what I'm going to make with my first diamonds? One of my favorite items in the game, but I'm not going to be using too much in this series because they are a bit overpowered. I don't know, we'll see. And make a diamond pickaxe, my favorite, no. Um, I'm going to be making a mining turtle. I don't know if that will come up. Oh, they're called elves in this update, this version. 1, 2, 2, 8, 5, 1, 2, 3, 7. I wonder what's the difference. Oh, it's just... No, don't know the difference. Oh, well, I need an elf, so I need a chest and a computer. Computer is seven stone, one piece of redstone, and one glass pane. I have the glass pane. I have the redstone, I just don't have the smooth stone. As I said, I'm but more on basic things. I mean, come on. Oh, yes, I'll show you what's downstairs as well while I'm at it. <coughs> um, so basically, I found a village down here. Kind of a cool location. Lots of farms for food and stuff that I'm using. Um, there's a couple villages left. A lot of them did die initially, but I think I, I know there's at least two left that are holding their houses and can't get out. Um, I'm gonna jump down here. As you can see, I've got my sheep farm here just temporarily. I just walled off this little area. Um, I'm not gonna show them right now. Uh, yes, I will. <coughs> um, yeah, I got. I walled this off temporarily because I wanted to make sure I could do this properly. Let's just shear all these guys. Just, I just had a couple of sheep to start off with, just started breeding them, dying them. I went out in a big hunt for yellow wool as well, so that was a little bit of an adventure also. That guy's stuck in there. They re regrow fairly fast. Um, I won't breed them again right now. It seems like I have enough for the moment. Right, so let's jump out of here. As you can see, we've got some farms going, we've got some flax, potatoes, wheat. That farm got creepered. Um, oops. <laughs> I was like, why am I running sideways? No, it was just me silly pressing the side button. Um, this is the little ravine that I found. Mostly picked up clean for resources, but you can see some down there, so I'm going to go and show you guys what I'm doing. It's a little bit silly, but I don't know. Just giving me some pleasure. Oh, not pleasure, but like... I don't know, it's just cool to see. Um, so this is where I've been mining my stone. As you can see, I mined a fair bit because, you know, I didn't want to make a turtle without showing you guys the making of it because that would be silly. Um, yeah, and I just I came across those and I was like, yeah, this is going to fill out my inventory and it's just going to be a pain, so I'll go around it. And I was like, maybe I'll keep going around it and see. Kind of cool to see the ore density in the area. I don't know. It's just kind of cool to me. Um, but I'm going to grab a few pieces of stone. I need a little bit because after this I shouldn't need to grab much more stone. I'm just mining a little tunnel out, although I shouldn't need to use this too much more, which is positive. That should be plenty of stone for my turtle. So let me head back up and I will be back because it's a little bit of a journey back up that ladder. Here we are. I just realized this has almost been half an hour and I'm so sad because I don't want to finish yet because I haven't really done that much. I guess I've done a lot of talking and explaining. They're still going. So you can see I've got a lot of... Oh wow, not much. Did this chunk unload us? Oh no, I guess it wasn't that long out away. Um, but I can go and smelt up this stone. Get myself those last pieces. I'm going to craft the turtle first before I do anything else. Um, or oh, elf, as I should be calling them. So we need seven stone. Stupid things. 
Um, I need, also need six, seven iron, which I can get out of my chest. Oh, come on, one more. I'm looking forward to getting that powered furnace. Oh, I should have I need, I needed to gather stuff for that powered furnace, didn't I? But no. I was busy doing it. Getting coals for the turtle, wasn't I? So now I have a computer. I think it's seven iron around it and the redstone. Nope, not the redstone. It was the chest. Oh yeah, that's obvious. I'm gonna have a few chests in here. Oh, actually, hmm. Little bit of a sidetrack, but I want to do this right now. Um, I'm going to get some planks, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Like a derp, and I'm gonna make some gears. I'm going to go ahead and make a crafting table. And then I'm going to put the gears around it and make an auto crafting table. These guys are not very handy early game. Oh, they are, but I'm going to use them for a different purpose. They they can You can put a recipe in them, and if you pump items into it and out of it, they will automatically craft those items for you. So it can be a hand, handy way to automate systems. Um, but the good thing I like about them is... If you put items in them when you exit out, they will stay in there, and that is quite handy. Because often you'll be making a recipe and it's kind of complex, and you're like, oh crap, I forgot that, and you'll be like, it's a complex recipe, and you're like, oh, exit, all the stuff dumps on the ground, you get in the chest, and you have to restart all that again. So instead of doing that, you can just exit out, get the stuff, come back, and it's right where you left off. Anyway, let me get that chest. Oh, I was like, where'd my iron go? Crap. Actually, where's the gun? Oh, you can put other... I didn't even know you could put other stuff in there. Oh, yes, the backpack. almost forgot to talk about that. That was very handy while mining. So what the backpack does... My very first mining elf. Turtle. In the future. Alright, so backpack. Um, it's from forestry. It's not a hard recipe. Um, but basically, this is a mini, miner's backpack. And if I drop... Um, Various ores or ingots on the ground, they will automatically, instead of going sucking up and filling up my inventory, they will automatically go into the bag, so that's very handy while mining. I'll beat, um, not all the ores in this pack actually go into it, a lot of them still stay in the inventory, but I can get over that. Alrighty, so, I now have a mining elf. Now what should I call this fella? Hmm, I like his little Santa hat, that's kind of cute. Turtle OS. I think it's label. Oop. <laughs> of course I would. Oh yeah, this mod. I haven't talked about that. Um, this mod is Computer Craft. Computer Craft adds computers to Minecraft. The computers use the Lua scripting language as their language, and you can basically write programs. Computers can do stuff like outputting redstone signals and wireless receiving and stuff like that. And turtles are basically your little slaves. You can send, they can dig, they can place blocks, they can move around, and they are epic. One of my favorite blocks. Um, but I'm going to go label, set, uh, what can this guy's name be? I really should have thought about this beforehand, but I really didn't. <laughs> and now this episode's going over time, and all I'm thinking is a name for a little computer. I don't want to do a generic name. I want to do, like, like Computer Turtle 01. That would just be boring. I want to call this guy... I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I have a proposition. Well, not that you get any input. Um, I know this is very corny, but... Yeah, you guys can judge me. <laughs> I don't mind. Um... So basically, this is going to be my, probably be my primary turtle, pretty much my everyday pet that I'll have around in my inventory. And so he's my everyday pet, my pet in real life. Her name is a dog, short-haired butter collie called Dax, D-A-X. So I'm going to call this guy Dax, because that means something to me, and it just makes sense. And it's the name. <laughs> Best name I could think of that actually meant something. So, enter. Label set to Dax. So if I pick this guy up, I put him down again, and I say label get, I think. Computer label is Dax. Awesome. 
Um, so now, computers need turtles, not computers, only turtles, need fuel to be able to move and stuff like that. So I'm going to get this guy to refuel. So he's going to... This is an, a program that's automatically built into computer craft, and he will look for the coal and suck it up and eat it. So refuel seven, is that a thing? Yes, and so they ate up all the fuel. Now, um, I'm going to go into turtles a little bit more probably next episode, although, actually no, scratch that. If you want to find out about computer craft from my perspective, I just finished up with a series called, um, I don't know, might continue on. Um, if I think of something else to do, and you guys are interested, um, called this. Oh, I'm going way over time. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, called discovering computer craft, and basically I started from not knowing much to knowing a fair bit about computer craft, and so you can follow along with my progress on learning the mod there and learn it for yourself pretty much at the same time. Um, but I'm going to. So the good thing about putting a label on them, if you go that and go refuel, I think that'll tell me. He will retain his fuel level, which is epic. I love it. <coughs> um, so basically, I can use this guy to write a little program for me to collect a whole bunch of cobble, which will be very handy. Anyway, I will sign off now, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This guy ran out of coal, which I suspected, but forgot to check up on. Give him 11, 16. Why not? Um, and make sure he continues on. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Like only if you enjoyed the video. But if you did, please do so because it helps me and the channel and stuff like that. And I will see you guys next time. I was going to try and make that an epic sign up, but it didn't really work. Shh.